A lot of people, when they articulate, they'll move their whole tongue like this to articulate the read, which is incorrect. Thank you for joining me, everyone, for another installment of Daily Exercises. This is Daily Exercise number 11, and in this video, we're going to talk about articulation. Uh, now, there's a bunch of different ways you can articulate on the saxophone, uh, depending on the style or the genre or the time period. Uh, what we're going to talk about today is the basics of articulation and how to line up your tongue with your fingers and how to uh, articulate faster and faster and faster, um, accurately and correctly. Um, before we dive into the exercise, the exercise today is a very simple exercise. It takes a couple of minutes. You can do it every day. Um, and it works on your articulation. It works on lining your fingers up with your articulation. It works on your scales. And it works on your breast support uh, as well. So it works on a number of things, but primarily articulation. But before we dive into the exercise, we should talk about uh, the most important aspect of articulation, which is your tongue position. Um, a lot of beginners get this wrong. I know I did for years. I probably was articulating incorrectly until I was about 19. Um, but when they articulate, they'll move their whole tongue like this to articulate the read, which is incorrect. Um, and their tongue position will just be, their tongue will just be in their mouth and they'll be doing this with it, um, which is going to be very slow. It's going to mess up your tone every time you articulate, um, and you're not going to be able to have breath support or tone control. Tone control, excuse me. So every player is a little different, every setup's a little different, but the basics of how you set up your tongue is like this. I don't know if you can see that, but your tongue curves in the back and does a slope to the front. So what's going on is the tongue is touching your back teeth back here. It's curving up and it's touching your back molars, just under your back molars. And then it's arching forward and coming flat like this. So your tongue is doing this in your mouth. So it's touching the back teeth and then it's coming up and the tip of your tongue should be just under the tip of your reed. Not in front, not all the way back here, just under the tip of your reed. Um, and when you're articulating, you're not moving your whole tongue. This part of it, this arch and then flat palate, is staying very, not necessarily rigid, but it's staying steady. And then just the tip of your tongue is what's moving. You're not moving your whole tongue to articulate, just the tip of your tongue is articulating. Um, and that is gonna help you control your tone and the speed of your articulation. Um, now you don't wanna hit too much of the reed because if you hit too much, that is appropriate for some styles, but that's gonna be very legato. Your tongue's gonna stick to the reed. It's gonna have a weird sound as you're articulating. And you don't wanna hit too little because you're not gonna be able to stop the tone. So just the tip of your tongue moves and it hits just the tip of your reed. So the exercise is a very simple exercise. Um, you're basically playing tetra scales, if you want to sound official, and articulating over those tetra scales. So a tetra scale is the first five notes of any scale. So for this exercise, I'd get a metronome and I'd pick your favorite scale, one that you don't have to think about, you don't want, and you don't want it to be complicated on your fingers. You want it to be very simple um, on your fingers so you're not thinking about anything other than your tongue position and your articulation. So how this exercise works is you play the first five notes of the scale, so your tetra scale, up and down. Uh, the first time through you play it legato, all tied together, and the second time through you articulate every single note going up and down. You start very slow first, and then as you get comfortable and you can play it accurately over and over again, you speed up. So grab your metronome and set it to 86, which is where I like to start. Um, and if you don't have one, there's a bunch of free apps. You can do the Pro Metronome uh, from the App Store, or um, you can buy them for pretty cheap. You can order them. Um, but get yourself a metronome and set it to 86 and play 16th notes at 86. So it sounds like this. Once again, this is C. We're playing the first five notes. So you can hear it's very simple. I wasn't doing anything crazy there. I just played it up and down, legato all tied together, and then I articulated. And do this um, one full breath, maybe a couple full breaths, until you can do it 10 times in a row uh, accurately. You're following the metronome, your time is perfect, your articulation is perfect. Make sure you don't move on until you've got it nailed at this speed. And then you move up a little bit. So I have it at 86. I'm going to move up to 92. Let's do it there. See, it's a little bit faster. And we do it again. And once again, you do this till you can play it about 10 times in a row, super accurate, um, with your articulation sounding great and your tone sounding even, uh, and then you move up again. So that was 16th notes at 92. I'm gonna move it up to 100. You might want to move it up to 96 or 98, depending on how comfortable you are. So this is 100.
Now you can hear I'm not doing uh, aggressive tonguing, I'm not playing super staccato. Um, I'm just trying to articulate without messing up my tone, without messing up the scale, being super even and the same over and over and over again. So that was 100. Once you get comfortable with that, once again, once you can play it about 10 times, you move it up again. I'm going to move it up to 108. Let's do 108. Etc. 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 So that's something you can do every single day, um, and you can pick one scale a day, and you can do it. It only takes a couple of minutes. You know that there was probably what a minute and a half, maybe, and I went through uh, three or four different metronome settings, um, and you can go until you can't play it anymore, or until you wear yourself out. Um, and this exercise is great. It works on. Um, your articulation, obviously, it works on your tongue position, it works on your scales, and it works on your breast support. Because to articulate uh, correctly and at speed, you need to have a lot of control of your, your tongue and your articulation and your tone. In order to do that, you need to push a lot of air. Um, and this will work on that because you need to push a lot of air to articulate correctly, but if you push too much, your uh, tone will sound spread and it will be difficult to articulate. If you push too little, your tone will sound weak and it'll be difficult to articulate. So this is a great exercise. It works on a bunch of different things. So like I said, this exercise only takes a couple of minutes and once you're comfortable with the articulation aspect or you're comfortable with the scale, you're getting bored, you can move on to other scales. So once you get very comfortable with this exercise and you're starting to nail it in different keys, you can play maybe six keys a day and then in two days you'll hit all 12 scales. Um, and if you spend two minutes on each one, that's 12 minutes a day. That's barely over 10 minutes. Um, to go through all 12 keys and to work on your articulation as well as all the other aspects that we've talked about today. So there you have it. That's daily exercise number 11. It's a quick and simple exercise to work on your articulation as well as a couple other aspects of playing the horn. Thank you for joining me. Smash the like button and I'll see you all in the next one.